good afternoon everyone hear me aisha yes ma'am okay okay so uh, as uh, today uh, i am going to start with uh, protein so in this protein uh, we'll discuss about like what is the brief chemistry and the role of proteins second we are going to discuss about uh, yeah good afternoon good afternoon second uh, we are going to discuss about like uh, polypeptides and amino hello can you hear me yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, yes, ma my network issue just give me 2 minutes and let me find okay now my voice is audible it seems
Only, yeah. Shit. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Wait, I'm yes, giving you. Yes, ma'am. Wait. Or let the topic be now. Give me one minute. Huh? So you able to see the screen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Uh, screen hello the voice is breaking ma'am now you able to see the screen yes it is yes ma'am yes ma'am okay Can you hear me, students? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma 
Oh, yes, ma'am. Ma I don't know why I'm struggling with this. So, okay. So, let me start. So, today, uh, as we have done about biochemistry and uh, like uh, what is the functions of biochemistry, what are the different approaches. So, today I'm going to start with protein. Okay. So, in uh, protein, uh, we have to study about what exactly does protein, uh, what are the role of protein. Okay. Functions of proteins in our body. Then, what are the different Ma'am, your voice is breaking. Is, uh, not in a sufficient amount in our can be protein. So, yeah. Audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, let me start. So, what do you mean by protein? So, the molecules which yields amino acids upon hydrolysis are called proteins. So, how you can define proteins? There are different uh, aspects to define proteins. Here you can see the molecules which yields amino acids upon hydrolysis. If you are going to hydrolysis uh, 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 something and they are giving amino acids. So, it means that contained or that powder or that thing belongs to protein. So, the molecules which yields amino acids upon hydrolysis are called proteins. Second, Proteins are natural polymer of amino acids because amino acids are building blocks, okay? So this is the units of uh, proteins. So with these amino acids, uh, uh, proteins are made of. So proteins are natural polymer of amino acids. The number of amino acids in a protein molecule may range from two to several thousands. As I said, these amino acids are building blocks of protein. So... How many uh, number of amino, ac uh, uh, amino acids uh, will be in uh, protein molecule and all? It may be from two to several thousands, okay? So protein molecules contain nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So here you can see how you can define proteins. The molecule which yield amino acids upon hydrolysis are called proteins. Second, proteins are natural polymer of amino acids. Why we are telling natural polymers? because proteins are naturally these are uh, natural things these are natural components in our body so proteins are natural polymer of amino acids polymer means amino acids mo um, these monomers will uh, um, conjugate together or they will combine together and they are going to form a so proteins are natural polymer of amino acids okay the number of amino acids in a protein molecule may range from two to several thousands the range of amino acids it may be two to two thousands or several thousands then protein molecules contain if we are going to see the structure of protein there you can see the molecules contain nitrogen carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay so what uh, what are the components or what protein molecule will contain it will contain n stands for nitrogen c stands for carbon h stands for hydrogen and o stands for oxygen so protein molecule is made up of nitrogen carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay then proteins are the basic for the major structural components of major structural components. So we are having in our body, we have protein, we have lipids, we have carbohydrates. So proteins are the basis for the major structural components of animal and human tissue. So not only in animals, uh, not only in uh, human beings as well as in animals, the basic major structural components, uh, what is that? That is your protein only. So what are proteins? Which upon hydrolysis giving amino acids, they are known as proteins. Or amino acids are the building block polymers for proteins. Okay. Then the protein molecules, it may contain nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So proteins are the basis for the major structural components of animal and human tissues. So in animal and human tissues, 
which one is the major structural component that is your proteins they act as a biological catalyst so uh, uh, it means whatever enzymes they are, we are having uh, so in the presence of enzyme the activity is uh, whatever the process in our body that are going to increase with the presence of enzyme the process will become fast so they act as a biological catalyst that catalyst are known as enzymes for structural parts of organisms participate in different cell reactions act as molecules of immunity and also provide fuel they act as a biological catalyst okay they act as a biological catalyst biological catalysts what are biological catalysts they are nothing but enzymes from structural part form structural parts of organism so what they are making they are making structural parts of organisms participate in different cell reactions they are involved in different cell reactions they will act as a molecules of immunity as well as also provide fuel to our body so this is ppt once we'll done with ppt i'll share the book pdf also with you so you will able to understand what exactly in this book and what exactly here in this ppt okay so this was a little introduction about proteins what are proteins how you can define proteins so upon hydrolysis if you are getting amino acids it means the molecules which is amino acids upon hydrolysis are called protein okay proteins are natural polymer of amino acids so these are the natural polymer why we are telling polymer because with that amino acids that building blocks will form these monomers will make a polymer and when they will build a polymer that is known as your protein the number of amino acids in a protein molecule may range from 2 to several thousands protein molecules contain nitrogen carbon hydrogen and oxygen proteins are the basis for the major structural components of animal as well as human tissues proteins act as a biological catalyst it means catalyst means they are going to act as enzyme they will form structural part of organisms they are going to participate in different cell reactions to provide so they are going to provide fuel they are going to provide energy also now uh, second so do you understand what do you mean by protein yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so this is not means these are the polymers of amino acid it means what are the basic units for the uh, structure of proteins that are amino acids only so if amino acid that is building block okay so with that that amino acids will come combine together and they are going to form a protein molecule okay now here we can see classification of proteins so in classification of proteins you can see uh, simple protein is there conjugated proteins are there and derived proteins are there so what do you mean by simple proteins those which give one amino acid only upon hydrolysis as i said if we are going for hydrolysis and we are getting a component as amino acid it means that molecule is known as protein so if you are getting only one amino acids upon hydrolysis so that kind of protein will comes under your simple proteins okay upon hydrolysis if you are getting only one or two amino acids so that will comes under your simple proteins then second category is your conjugated proteins so what do you mean by conjugated those which give an amino acid and a non protein group upon hydrolysis if we are going to hydrolyze that component after hydrolysis what we got or what we received or what we achieved if we are having an amino acid okay one amino acid is there and a non protein group so upon hydrolysis what you got you got one amino acid as well as one non protein molecule so it means that time that protein is going to known as conjugated protein but what is simple proteins upon their hydrolysis you will get only one amino acids okay so that's why they will consider under simple protein and conjugated mean conjugations are there they are bind up with other non protein uh, groups also so those which give an amino acid and a non protein group upon hydrolysis then c is derived proteins so those which are derived from simple and conjugated proteins so what are derived proteins so those which are derived from simple and conjugated protein so those which derived from simple protein or conjugated proteins are known as derived proteins so did you understand what is simple protein conjugated protein what is the difference between simple protein and conjugated 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what do you mean by simple protein? Only one amino acid upon hydrolysis. And hydrolysis upon hydrolysis. And what are conjugated protein upon hydrolysis? Please mute yourself. They will give one amino acids as well as one known non-protein group. Okay, and the right proteins, whatever you are getting uh, from simple or conjugated protein, whatever derived from these proteins, your simple or as well as conjugated proteins, that will comes under your derived proteins. Okay. So now first, will uh, we are going to discuss about simple protein. Do you know any? Please give me an example of simple protein. Any example of simple uh, proteins? Albu albumin. means okay. So here you albumin. So here you see in this picture in blood the whatever albumins are present that are known as serum albumin. In milk, whatever uh, albumins as simple proteins are present, they are known as lactalbumin. In uh, why, uh, like in egg, uh, yolk is there and white portion is there. So whatever white portion is there, there you will get your O albumin. Varun, please mute yourself. Okay, so egg white, uh, in egg two portions are are there uh, white portion as well as yellow portion so whatever uh, uh, white portion is there that is your albumin only so which albumin is present there that is your ovo albumin then in lentils whatever dal or pulses you are having in that you, you will get legumelin okay in kidney beans you will get phospholin in wheat you will get leucosin so this all will comes under your simple proteins okay so uh, what uh, exactly uh, uh, the albumin properties are there how we can tell that these uh, protein will uh, albumin only so globular protein is insoluble in water and dilute salt solution if you are going to soluble solubilize that protein in water it is not going to dissolve or it is not going to soluble so globular protein is insoluble in water and dilute salt solution they will dilute the salt solution if you have some salt solution they will be act as a dilution for that salt solution then these albumins will precipitated by saturation with nh4 twice so4 it means ammonium sulfate if you have ammonium sulfate solution so you can uh, the if these proteins are present that protein will get precipitated by this ammonium sulfate solution coagulated by heat so example of this one can you give if you are giving uh, heat to them they will become coagulation so what is the best example for that egg have you seen if we have any uh, any time you boiled egg yes ma'am yes ma'am what we are seeing mostly the yellow passion it will become hard so that process oh. when it is going to become uh, hard so that time it is known as coagulation so that phenomena is known as coagulation so they are going to coagulate it by Okay, then found in plant and animal tissue. So albumins we can get uh, easily in plants as well as in animal tissue. Okay, so simple protein first was your albumin. So albumin examples are here. Whenever you are going to write down about proteins or carbohydrates, always make sure you are going to put some examples. Okay, it is very important. Suppose you will get define protein. So whenever you are going to define proteins, after the definition of protein, what you have to write, you have to give some examples of. proteins okay if they are asking or not asking wherever it is applicable you have to write 
okay then uh, second in simple proteins uh, one more is there that is globulin so here you can see in blood we are having globulin serum globulin in muscles we have mycosin in potatoes we have tuberin in brazil nuts we are having axillins and in hemp we have uh, adistin and in lentils we have legumin so these are the examples so you can easily identify or that uh, you you will get you will easily you can remember that in potato which globulin we are having tuberin in the muscles we have myosin or in blood we are having serum globulins okay so what exactly these simple proteins or globulins are so globular protein is sparingly soluble in water and neutral solution so what is simple proteins globular protein is sparingly soluble in water so your albumin was insoluble in water here you can see what we have written in properties of albumin these are insoluble in water okay these are insoluble in water but globulins are sparingly soluble in water so now you will ask me that ma'am what is sparingly soluble so in uh, in solubility we have different term that is very soluble freely soluble sparingly soluble so when we have parts if one part of the solute is dissolved in more than 10 part of 10000 part of the solvent that time it is known as sparingly soluble so don't get confused with their uh, like ratio how much part of the solute is going to get dissolved with how much part of the solvent so in that category this is sparingly soluble will come so that is cuticle part here just you make sure what you have to write globular protein is sparingly soluble in water and neutral solutions and these global these globulins uh, can be precipitated by dilute ammonium sulfate here they are also precipitated by here precipitated by saturation with Uh, ammonium sulfate solution and here they can also precipitated by dilute but the solution should be dilute am ammonium sulfate then these can also coagulated by heat and these are distributed in both plant and animal tissues so they are present in both uh, animal as well as in plant okay so then again one example of simple protein is glutathione so in glutathione so you can see the example of wheat or rice so in wheat which protein we are having a glutathione or in rice we are having a ricinine so these are the examples of gluten so glutathione globulin albumin these, these these will comes under your simple proteins only so what exactly the property of of gluten so these are insoluble in water and dilute salt solutions okay so these are if we are going to solubilize in water or in dilute salt solution they will be insoluble they are not going to get solubilized in water and they will not get solubilized in dilute solutions also okay they are soluble in dilute acids so but they are soluble in dilute acids they are insoluble in water and dilute salt solution if you have some salt solution that is dilute if you need to mix or you want to solubilize these glutathione they are not going to get dissolved then they are soluble in dilute acids they found in grains and cereals so whatever grains we are having or whatever cereals we are having in that we can get this kind of protein that is glutathione okay then again you can see one example of a simple protein is stones okay so stones uh, basically uh, whatever uh, uh, presence in our uh, pancreas or nuclear protein so here we can get their presence so here you can see thymus gland pancreas and nuclear protein so here we can get this the stone proteins these are soluble in water salt solution and dilute acid so they are soluble in water they are soluble in salt solution and they are also soluble in dilute acids so they are insoluble in ammonium hydroxide yields large amount of lysine and arginine when you are going to hydrolyze this kind of proteins that are histones so what you will get you will get a large amount of lysine and arginine so histones what are histones lysine and arginine are a uh, simple protein kind of, it means it will comes under your histone so what exactly the histone histones are simple protein so what are the examples of histone lysine and arginine they can combine with nucleic acids with within cells so wherever we are having nucleic acids so they can histone cells can combine over there okay then thymus gland pancreas okay this one is done no? okay can happen this so uh, one more protein is there so here you can see that is ferroprotein so this is wherever connective tissues we are having 
or heart issues we are having so these kind of proteins we can get over there if we are having some connective tissues or we are having some heart tissues so they whatever pro which protein is present over there that is your scleroproteins then uh, fibrous protein is insoluble in all solvents so this is the kind of fibrous protein it is insoluble in all kind of solvents resistant to digestion this cannot be easily digestible they are having resistant for digestions so next is your uh, conjugated protein we'll see this was all about examples of your simple proteins okay so in simple proteins what and all example we have done we have done with albumin globulin and uh, here we done with lutelins then we have done with histones so these are the examples or uh, you can put uh, like uh, these are the classification simple protein conjugated protein and derived protein so say what are simple proteins proteins that give one amino acid on hydrolysis that is your simple protein and what do you mean by conjugated protein protein that give amino acid uh, and a non protein compound on hydrolysis and a non protein compound if you have yeah very good puja so if we have one protein compound as well as one non non protein component or molecule so that kind of protein will comes under your conjugated one and simple protein means upon hydrolysis they are giving simple amino acids one or two okay and whatever you are getting with your simple or conjugated that will comes under your derived proteins okay so here uh, we will move toward the uh, conjugated protein so in conjugated protein the best example of conjugated protein it means wherever we are getting amino acids as uh, protein molecules and we are getting some non protein molecules also so that will comes under your conjugated protein so here you can see cytoplasm nucleus of chromosomes and ribosomes and viruses and bacteriophages so if we are having these kinds of things and if someone is going to ask you in nucleic acids which kind of protein we are having so simply you can tell conjugated proteins they are having because upon hydrolysis they are giving one amino acids as well as one non protein molecule okay so conjugated protein so what are the properties of nucleoproteins so it contains nucleic acids nitrogen and phosphorus so here you can see they have nitrogen and phosphorus okay as i said they have amino acid component as well as non protein part so here it contains nucleic acids nitrogen and phosphorus it is present in chromosomes so here you know Uh, what are the role of chromosomes and also it is present in chromosomes and in all living forms as a combination of protein with either dna or rna so what is the full form of dna deoxyribonucleic acid deoxyribonucleic acid very good deoxyribonucleic acid very good and rna ribonucleic acid acid okay good everyone very good so here we can see so these will comes under your conjugated protein so conjugated protein so what is the example of conjugated protein nucleoprotein and another example is mucoprotein so mucin saliva we are having and egg white so as i said in egg two portions are there white as well as yellow so yellow will come under your albumin okay uh, and uh, and here egg white whatever egg white is there that is your homocoid so if if this is having muco protein or saliva in saliva sugar sugar acid and girls they can combine with sugar and they can combine what should be the what and all properties uh, histones having or what and all properties of albumin globulin or muco protein so these are generally an introduction with these ppt afterwards i'll go with book also in there they are having similar things so uh, don't worry about that whatever in your books that also i'm going to cover first let me finish this ppt it will take uh, two days to finish it because so many things are there everything we have to done um, done here fasting ppt then we'll go through our book so it 